Hey Jacko, in today's video I'll show how to echo voice as if you are walking into a tunnel, a cave and an open space in DaVinci Resolve. Now let's get digital. So this is the audio file that I've recorded in the Freelight page and this is a simple image that I've animated. So let me give you a quick listen of this audio. This is me fake walking into a cave, the entrance is Nero but as I go a little bit deeper, it starts to get wider and wider. And look at that, the area is now huge. Now to convey the effect of an echo, you should talk appropriately, so have pauses in between the words. And now to make the effect, we'll go to Effects, Audio Effects, and we can usually apply a delay. And look at that, the area is now huge. This makes it a little bit of an echo, so I'll just leave it to default. You can actually apply the echo, and I'll also leave it to default. And as you could hear, the echo was all the way to the end, so you may need to adjust the numbers a little bit. And the effect that you can also use is reverb, this affects the space. So this would be a huge room, as you can see. And you can adjust the pre-delay and reverb time. So these are usually the three effects that you may want to use. And if you need to adjust the effects applied to the audio clip, go to the inspector, effects, and you can see the effects that are applied to the clip. You can disable them, open the panel to adjust them, and you can also delete them. But as you can see, we can't actually keyframe them. We can just reset the values. So this is not ideal for what we want to do. And what I wanted to show you is how you can fade the effect in and out. So I'll delete all of the effects. I will select the clip. If this was linked, so let me link the clips. So when you select the clip that is linked to a video clip, hold Alt and click on the clip and then simply hold ALT and drag the clip down. So now we made a duplicate of the audio clip and let us listen to it. It starts to get wider and wider. So at this point, in quotes, I'm walking into a tunnel or a cave. So I'll shorten the audio clip to here and I'll apply the effects to this section. So I'll just use the reverb, echo and delay the default values and what I'll simply do is I'll drag this handle to maybe this section I'll shorten this clip holding the alt because now these two clips are linked so I have to hold alt to select just the bottom one I'll shorten it and I'll adjust the handle to here a little bit deeper it starts to get wider and wider oh, look at that the Now you can just use the default values and leave everything as is, but what you can also do, let me just go back, duplicate this audio clip, I'll adjust this, and position this to here. You can also use this Soundly Placeit plugin, it is free, I also have a video on that. Simply put the plugin onto a clip, and you can select one of the presets. In this case, I will use the Haunted Cave, and again, I'll simply adjust it like so. But as I go a little bit deeper, it starts to get wider and wider. Man, look at that. The area is huge. So in DaVinci Resolve, you can make the voice echo effect for free by using one or many of the audio effects. Or you can also use the free Soundly Placeit plugin. And if you found this video helpful, you know what to do. I'm Simon, and until next time, jerk off. Get the digital.